everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am here together with my 100 balls of Starcraft Special DK. So as you know, recently we started selling the individual balls of Starcraft Special DK and of course we have them in all the colours. Now, there is a pack available with all these colors in it. So effectively, you will be buying 100 balls of StarCraft Special DK. And this is what it looks like. Now, the thing is, it's a big pack. It's a lot of yarn. And so, of course, I had to have them as well. And I'm going to challenge myself. Now, I know some people and they have the 100 colors of StarCraft Special DK so that whenever they need a color they just take it and then they buy it to replenish their stock. But of course, yeah, I mean yarn has to be used, you can't just leave it lying around. So I have challenged myself and over the next coming months, so if you're watching this in 2022, you will have to wait for the videos to come out. If you're watching this at a later date, you will see that there is a playlist below and this is the playlist or you're in it now with all these balls. I am going to challenge myself to make as many blankets as I possibly can. And then once I'm blanketed out and I have lots of little leftovers, then I'm going to start making other things with it. So I am going to challenge myself to try and make as many things as possible with these 100 balls. And there will be, of course, a video series. So I will keep on posting these videos as and when I finish the next, you know, the next object, the next blanket, the next project. So, I have so many ideas. I mean, of course, a blanket ideally weighs 1300 grams. I also make blankets like play blankets that are a little bit smaller. So, that will be less weight, less yarn. So, I'm hoping to use all the colours in a lot of the blankets. So I'm going to make a blanket, for instance, in squares or in rows or, you know, however I fancy it and do it like random or in colour order or, you know, anything I can come up with. So what I'm going to do at the moment, I've made sure that they're all sort of random. Yeah, there's not Sort of yeah there's a bit of pink together here but there's not too many of the same colors together so i am going to make a blanket with just straightforward rows of dc i have never done that i've never done just rows of double crochets i've never done that so i'm going to do that and i'm going to start there go along the row go up and like that all along my 100 balls so I'm not going to worry about what color comes next whatever is there is going to be the one that I am going to be using I am looking for a space holder <laughs> <laughs> you know, so when I take out the ball, I can put something else in it so um, I don't forget where I am and that I know where it's got to go back into. So we'll see <laughs> what that ends up being. But yeah, so this is the plan. This is the challenge. I hope you will come along with me during this journey. Of course, it's not going to be a race. I'm just going to make these and as I, I will be filming it and as I finish them, I will be publishing them. Then I'll start a new one and then so on. So probably till the end of the year, I will post frequent updates on how my cabinet here is changing because of course once you start using the balls they'll become smaller and then there might be some space for the actual blanket that i made so you will see the yarn getting depleted and the cupboard being filled up with oh my goodness being filled up with blankets imagine 
Okay, so today is which date? Um, in a year's time, I'm going to do the same thing. And maybe I'll be standing here in front of a cupboard with all projects, all finished projects. And I might just be holding a little bit of yarn in my hands. So if there ever is a reason for you to have to convince yourself, your other half, your cat, your dog to go out and buy these 100 balls of Starcraft Special Decay in a pack, link below to our website if you want to buy them, then this is the video series that you need to watch to find out all about what I'm going to be making with them and more than that, to find out how much fun I'm going to be having. Let's get started with that first blanket. So for this project, I am using my three and a half. Starcraft Special DK is prescribed for a four hook, but I have to use a three and a half for my tension. So use the hook that you usually use with this yarn. I have a darning needle, measuring tape and scissors. Okay, so I have taken out the first five colors from the cabinet and they happen to be spearmint, grape, Cornish blue, Matador, oh my goodness, never used this before, a lapis. So I think it's a wonderful start and we are going to start a play blanket. So I'm thinking I'm going to be doing, of course, 100 rows. Every row will be a different colour and I'm going to make it 150 stitches wide. So I'm going to get started with my spearmint, make your slip knot whichever way you usually make it and I'm going to chain 150 chains. So when you've chained your 150 chains, you're going to chain one more, keeping your thumb on the 150th. Then you yarn over into the 150th. So skipping the turning chain, you're going to go in there and do your double crochet. So double crochet is yarn over, insert, Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And this way you go all along your chain and you are going to be doing 150 double crochets. And then, of course, it was dinner time and evening and we were sat in the sofa and I didn't have anything else to do. So I continued on this blanket. So I have already done a few rows. But to be honest, you know, when I got to the end of the row, I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I am going to be doing here. So as you can see, I've done my last double crochet bar bar the last pull through. So to finish this you need to yarn over and pull through. I am not going to do that. I am in fact going to pull through with the new colour. So taking your new colour as if you were already crocheting with it, you're going to pull that through those two loops. And this way you finish your double crochet and you are ready to get started on the next row with your new colour. So then you chain and you turn and you do your first double crochet in that V where this chain is coming out of. So the very first V. So the chain that we do is a turning chain and we do not count it. It's just there to help you make the turn and create the height for the double crochet that you are doing. If you find it difficult to see this last stitch, then do please make sure you put a stitch marker in there. Okay, and then off we go again, doing our double crochets and 
it might be a little bit boring, but because, you know, it's a very simple stitch, it's the same stitch throughout. But to be honest, it's great fun because of the colours. Now, I had never used Matador before. And I have to say, last night, late at night, that colour, oh my, it did wake me up. <laughs> so, yes, I'm having great fun combining the colours, you know, just taking them out of the cupboard, basically, as they are positioned and just seeing what it looks like. So I have done the first five colors now i'm going to place those back into their original location and i have some space savers in there some tupperware boxes <laughs> and so i'll be taking out the next five to do that as and when i have time or i have an evening like last night and so hopefully i'll be soon you know have worked my way through the 100 balls and i will be back to show you of course. Now, if you want to make the exact same blanket, there is a list of the colours on my blog with all the 100 colours listed as used in this random double crochet play blanket. Okay, so this is a very, very simple pattern using the 100 colours of Starcraft Special DK. And we'll see where it leads us. So this is the first blanket that I'm making. I'm hoping to turn it into a play blanket. description box below this video. This will take you to the blog post where I have posted a list of colours for this blanket. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!